Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie here. Um, first off, I want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to my channel recently. I'm at 50 subscribers now. And I really appreciate everybody who has been um, recommending me by um, doing a shout out video or an unboxing video or putting me on their Instagram uh, recommending my channel. Um, that thank you very much and um, I hope I get more subscribers because I love doing this I love sharing movies with people um, I don't really have anyone that is movie obsessed like I am in my life so it is nice to be able to share this with fellow youtubers and fellow movie collectors who are very passionate about it just like I am um, so yeah um, so today um, I uh, did a short little video. Um, my boyfriend's birthday was on the 15th of November, and um, I did a video of him. Um, I got him two uh, posters for his birthday, and I also got him uh, the Blu-ray Three from Hell, um, and I took a video, or I did a video of him um, unveiling, unveiling whatever the posters. Um, and I took a little video of that. It's only like a minute and 30 seconds. Um, so I want to add that in somewhere in the video. I don't know if I'll have to wait till the end because I'm still kind of new with editing on how to, you know, add extra stuff like that in. Um, so, um, but I'll try to add that in somewhere in this video just so that way you guys can see them because they're pretty cool posters and I just thought it was cute. Um. So that's going to be in here, and then also um, I have a massively, massive, huge haul from Dollar Tree that I went to today, and I only went actually to, well actually I went to four stores, um, but I scored big at two of them, and uh, the fourth one that I went, or the third one that I went to, I didn't get anything, they didn't have anything. And then the fourth one that I went to, they only had two movies that I got. So, pretty much just the first two that I went to, I scored over a hundred movies, guys. So, this video may actually be split into two, possibly even three. And the reason for that is because of my phone. My phone doesn't have enough storage to do, like, an hour-long video. It actually, um... I think the longest video I've been able to do was uh, like 40 something minutes and then it cut itself off because um, I have to go into the Kinmaster and do the reverse on it so it actually will hold um, the two videos in it until I can upload it into YouTube so yeah I'm hoping to get a better phone. Or at least another memory card here pretty soon. Uh, so that way hopefully that'll fix the issue. Um, so, but I'll try to kind of go a little bit fast. But sometimes I get, I can get a little bit talky. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but also I wanted to show off two new Nightmare Before Christmas things that I picked up over at Walgreens. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing those two things first. Uh, I can grab them. Uh, first off, I got this puzzle. 300 pieces. They had about three different ones left. They may have had more, but they were pretty, pretty picked through already. Um, so, but this is the one that I like the most. And I don't know if I'm actually going to do the puzzle or not. Um, like, if I do it... Um, I may just do it and then put it back and do it again type thing, or I may do it and then try to, like, glow, uh, glow, glue it to a poster and put it, like, in a frame, hang it on the wall somewhere, or I may just keep it in the box. I haven't decided yet, but I've always wanted to get a puzzle of Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm happy I found this, and this is only $9.99, and then also I found... These adorable little mini glasses. I don't know how well you can see them or not in there. 
But these ones I am going to keep in the box. But yeah, they're just a set of mini glasses, one of Sally and one of Jack. And these were also $9.99. So, but I really like these. They don't really have like a picture on the back or anything of what they look like outside of the box. So, but I think you kind of get the gist of what they look like. But yeah, these are the two things that I scored from Nightmare. Okay. And now into the movies. Okay. First off, we got Kung Fu Traveler. And this one is English dubbed. Because if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've said time and time before that subtitles I would take me a few watches because I'll sit there and I'll read the words rather than watch the movie. So... If it's English dubbed, I can handle it a lot better. So, got that one. And then I found The Good Life. And these are the two that I found at the $1 tree where I just found these two movies. So, got those two. And then I found The Jungle. It says The Fear is Real. This is an E1 and a lightning release. A new predator is on the hunt, and it's from the director of The Wreath in Black Water. I don't know if I've seen either one of those actually. I don't know, but he looks pretty crazy there, and it is kind of cool that it came in this green case. So, and then I found Point B says, a fun throwback to a cool sort of 80s movie. And it says, prepare for a dark comedy of reckless science, or scientific behavior. Sorry, wow. The science hits the fan. And I don't think I recognize any of these names on who's in here. So, I don't know, but, and then I found, you can hear it's loose in there, but, um, I'm going to be careful with it, but Donnybrook, it has a Frank Grillo in it, and I think, I'm hope, I hope I'm right, but that's the guy from, uh, Purge Anarchy and Election Year, I believe. Oh, I didn't realize this, it's a Shout Factory and an IFC film. Right there, Shout Factory. It says, based on the critically acclaimed novel by Frank Bill. But it has him in it and also has a Jamie Bell. I don't know if I know who that is. But, got that one. And then I found Black November. And this one came with the slip. And this one has uh, Vivica A. Fox, Mickey Rourke, Kim Basinger, uh, Sarah Wayne, is it Collies? You know, the one from uh, Prison Break and, of course, from Walking Dead. And it also has Anne, I don't know, is it Heish, Hecky, or I don't know how to say her name, but the one who played in the remake of Psycho. And then it also has Akon. Which I don't know who that is. Is that a singer guy? I don't know. But, got that one. And then this one is interesting. It's an IFC Presents. It's a decade under the influence. The 70s film that changed everything. There's only... Probably, like, out of all of these names, um, probably not even half of them that I actually know, but they have, uh, let me see, uh, Roger Corman, Bruce Dern, Clint Eastwood, um, Martin Scorsese, Sissy Spacek, and John Voight. I think those are the only names that I really recognize. 
But this just sounded interesting. I mean, of course, it's a documentary, but it's all, you know, talking about the films from the 70s. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. So, grab that one. And then, I got a whole bag over here that is full. Like I said, seriously, over 100 movies. So, just be prepared. Um, and then I found Mississippi Murder, which has Malcolm McDowell and Luke Goss in it. Secrets Can Kill. And then, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this one or not, but, you know, I do like documentaries and kind of curious, so... Um, Diana, Queen of Hearts, it's a documentary, and it says it has digital with it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. A special tribute to the life and legacy of a princess. So, just check it out and see, you know, because I really do, I, I like documentaries. Mostly I like crime documentaries. That's what I'm obsessed with is true crime and everything, but still. And then I got How to Be Single. Can't remember if I actually seen this one or not, but I do like Rebel Wilson. This one. And then I've never even heard of this one, but I love Michael Sheen from, you know, of course, Underworld and all. Um, but this one is the Damned United. It is such a joy to see Michael Sheen grab a hold of a role like this. And this is a Sony Pictures classic movie. I don't know what else, can't even think of what else right now. I know he's been in other stuff, aside, of course, from Underworld, but that's where I mostly know him from, and I loved him in those. And then one I was super excited to find. I've never seen it, but I've seen it on eBay so many times that I wanted to buy it, and that's Decoys. Just looked like an interesting horror movie. Beauty is only skin deep. They're not what they seem. They can seduce anyone. Pray it isn't you. It just looks interesting. So, I was really psyched to find that one. And then we got Ghosts of New Orleans. This has Terrence Howard, Lake Bell, and Josh Lucas in it. Seduced to Kill. And they did have quite a few animated in this round. Um, and a lot of them I've never even heard of. So I have no idea. But I do, just like with my whore, I love my animateds too. So uh, I found this Pound Puppies. No idea. This is a Shout Kids and a Hasbro Studios. So I have no idea, but this one is, um, says 2015 and it's 110 minutes. Um, it doesn't look like it says like who any voices are or anything that's in this one but it looks like one two three four looks like five episodes I think right here the stickers kind of covering it but it looks like that's five episodes try to get rid of that glare so I don't know it says pick of the litter so, could be cute, hopefully. So, see about that one. And then I found Madtown. Which, again, I don't know anything about. But it looks interesting. It's one that I've seen on eBay, too. 
And this one has a slip too, but it's got the sticker on it, so I can't slide it out for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, that just kind of sounded dirty. I didn't mean it that way. Um, but this is a... Uh, 2017 it says 112 minutes and I think I know Milo Ventimiglia I think I know that name but I'm not 100% sure because all of these other names I don't recognize anybody else but it says the past can be a dangerous place to go so, I don't know. It looks interesting, though. And then, this one, I didn't even, you know, whenever I went there, I just looked for titles that looked interesting just based off the cover, not even who was in it. And also, of course, for ones that I didn't already own. So, when I saw, when I came home and I was looking at everything, um, it was cool to find out that Anton Yelchin was in this one. But it's, we don't belong here. I really like him as an actor. It's really a shame what happened. It's very, very sad. But this one also has um, Maya, what is it? Yeah, Maya Rudolph, uh, Carrie Ellis, Molly Shannon, uh, Catherine Kenner, and Riley Huoff. I don't know if that's how you say it. But every family has its secrets. So, this one looks good, too. I mean, they all look good. That's why I grabbed them. <laughs> and then I found the Evangelist. Evangelist? Angelist? I don't know, something like that. says, so shocking, it will keep your mind filled with paranoia for weeks. Your sins are not forgiven. So. That one. And then this one. I, I don't know. Wonders are many. And on the front here, it says, The Making of Dr. Um, Atomic. The story behind John Adams' acclaimed opera about the atomic bond and the historic events that inspired it. Sorry, guys. My cat knocked over the phone. But yeah, it says the historic events that inspired it from an opera about the atomic bond. I have no idea what this is talking about. But again, I just, you know, saw the cover, saw the name, knew I didn't have it, so I grabbed it. But um, it says color and black and white. So, and it's approximately 92 minutes. And the date on here... It says 2007. So I don't know. I mean, I know it's a documentary. It's a docurama films. So it's like a documentary drama. I don't know. So, but, um, I don't know, I'll have to watch this and see exactly what this one is about, but I just, when I read that bottom part, you know, whenever I got home, I was like, okay, what is this now? So, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting, I don't know. So, I'm gonna give it a watch and figure out what's going on. But I got that one. And then here's another documentary one, um, and I have been, I have heard of this one, and I have wanted this one, actually. Um, it's A Brave Heart, the Lizzie, 
Oh my god, I don't think I can say her last name. Vela... Velasquez story? Something like that? But someone said, you know, uh, made a comment that she was like the most ugliest woman in the world and stuff like that. And, um... She fought it. You know, she stood up for herself and everything, and it just talks about, you know, her inspiring story and everything about her standing up for herself and stuff like that. It's hopefully this film will encourage everyone to embrace who they are and stand up for themselves and others. So, I was happy to find this one. I about that one. And then I found... Kill Em All with Jean-Claude Van Damme, which I don't know very many of his movies or anything, so I have no idea if this is good or not, but I'm going to check it out. And then Millionaire Dog, of course another probably cheesy but probably cute too little dog movie. Which I don't care, these movies are usually pretty cute, even though they are kind of cheesy, so I'm okay with that. So I've got that one. And then this one is Before I Do. It says, it's a game of Russian roulette. I don't... It's just weird because you think, you know, I do marriage type thing, but I guess this is... I don't know if you'd like do I do or something before you become a like a firefighter or something. I mean, I don't know. I just thought that was weird. So, but it looks interesting. So, I mean, you never know. So, I've got that one. And then, again, I didn't even look to see who the cast was or anything. But, I mean, I am in love with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, so I'm so happy I grabbed this one. And it's called Guns for Hire. It's also got Orlando Jones. Uh, let's see, do I recognize anybody else? Uh, Ben Middleson. I don't know if I recognize that name for sure or not. But I might. But I don't think I recognize any of these other names. It's just Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Orlando Jones. So, but, just happy to find this one. And here's another one of the animated ones. Um, Car Go. So it's from the minds that brought you Pinky in the brain. Huh, I didn't know that. But it's got Ed Asner and Melissa Joan Hart and Haley Joe Osment. Oh, and this is an Asylum one. Huh, interesting. So, got that one. And then I found IFC Midnight one, uh, Rust Creek. Choose your prey carefully. So I've got that one. And I think this one also, yeah, this one's a Scream Factory one too. So, got that one. And then this one is Bad Kids of Crestview Academy. Return to the prep school from hell. So, I don't even know. But, like I said, you never know unless you give it a chance. Could be good or could be terrible. But for a dollar, why not? And then I got, uh, Chronically Metropolin? Or, Metrop... I think it says Metropolin. I don't know. I just maybe don't know how to read. But I hope that's what it says so I don't sound that stupid or that blonde. 
but um, this is a Universal movie, and I don't recognize any of those names. I don't. Oh wait, no, Mary Lou, uh, Mary Louise Parker. I know her. Um, I don't know if I know Josh Peck or Ashley Benson. I don't know the names. I might recognize their faces, but not the names. But Mary Louise Parker, I do recognize her. She's from Red. And I think, what, like Fried Green Tomatoes or something, too, is one of her more probably known ones, even more so than Red. But anyways, and then, um... I finally found a copy of The Boy. I know a lot of people got it in previous hauls, but I never found it, but now I got it. And this one is a Scream Factory release, too. It's got Rain Wilson in it. So, interested to see what this one's all about. Evil always begins somewhere. And then I really hope, I don't already have this one. I really don't think that I do. Um, but it has uh, Lance Hendrickson in it. And it's a Dark Awakening. Some secrets are better off buried. So I'm really interested in checking this one out. Because I really do like uh, Lance Hendrickson. And then I found Astro. Oh, shit. Oh, and you can see the disc is loose in there. Oh, I hate that. Be careful what you search for. So I've got that one. Oh, my God. Another one. Jesus. And then this one is a uh, Sleeping Dogs Lie. How long can a secret stay buried? And this one has two extras with it. Um, Headhunter, The Assessment Weekend, and Taken in Broad Daylight. Oh, Taken in Broad Daylight has James Vanderbeek. Has Dawson in it. Huh. So, got that one. And then this one right here, uh, it says it's based on a true story, so we'll see how true it is. But it's another dog movie. It's called The Dog Lover. She ended up on the wrong side of right. It says, learn the truth, investigate before you donate. I wonder if this is maybe like some kind of a person who was um, saying that they set up a foundation or whatever for people to donate money to help animals, to help dogs, um, but they were just stealing the money for themselves type of thing. Because that's like a lot of police or something like that right there, so I wonder if that's... That's what this is about. That's terrible if somebody somebody does that. That's why I don't like trusting charities and stuff like that. Is because you know people are just awful, or they can be awful. Okay, and then we got the Ouija experiment. I don't know if this is a sequel because I know there's a couple of different Ouija movies that um, I think are connected together. I don't know if this is one of them or not. Um, but uh, they thought it was just a game. But I've been wanting to check out all the other Ouija movies. So I was excited to find this one. And then uh, Ray Liotta in The Devils in the Details. Payback is Hell. And 
and then um, D-Day Survivor, Lost, Scared, Alone. And it says here, too, that it was uh, previously known as The War I Knew. So, I don't know, like, when they changed the name or why. It says 2015, or it has two different dates, 2015 and 2017, so I don't know. But it says D-Day Survivor is a story of heroism and survival. that one and then uh, got bloodshot the game goes from legal to lethal oh. sounds like another one's a little bit loose it's funny though because from the front you know it looks all sci-fi but then kind of from the back you know, right here and all, it looks like it's some kind of, like, almost gangster or something type movie. It's weird. And then I was happy I finally found this one of, I don't know, was it Piwacket? Something like that. It's an IFC Midnight, another IFC Midnight one. Uh, Screen Factory release. But this one, just that cover right there just looks awesome, so... I was really happy to find this one from the producers of The Witch. Fantastically creepy and effective suspenseful film or horror. So, got that one. And then I found Collider. Hi, Psycho. What are you doing, baby? You just wake up. Sorry, my cat just wakes up. She likes making little noises to let me know she's awake. Uh, change the past or be history. So this one looked interesting. All sci-fi and crazy. And then um, a BBC one. Uh, it's called Save Our Skins. What if the last men left on Earth were idiots? <laughs> wow, okay. And uh, this one, I guess it's not a show one like I thought it was going to be. It's uh, 86 minutes is how long this one is. Oh, sorry, I'm not meaning to like flip you off or anything. <laughs> but uh, that creature right there looks pretty crazy. So does this chick right here, too. So, but... wonder what how this one's going to be. That's just funny. What if the last men left on Earth were idiots? <laughs> That's funny. And then here we got another um, animated. Seven Seas Pirates. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a treasured life for me. And let's see. Oh, this one says English Spanish language. And then, I thought this one was really cool. This one is an eight action film collection. It has uh, Steve Austin's Knockout. It has Valley of Angels with Danny Trejo. It has uh, Blood Rain, the Third Reich. It um, has American Breakdown. Extracted. Um, Lords of the Street, I think that's the one, yeah, with DMX, um, Garrison, and then After the Dark. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I may have some of these, like, Blood Rain, I think I already have. 
Um, I may have knockout already. And I think that's it. So just those two. So, but I thought that was awesome. And some of these I've never even heard of, like the Valley of Angels one with Danny Trejo. And definitely Lords of the Street with DMX. Never heard of. So. But yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. So I've got that one. And I think I'm just going to show off these four other ones that I have right here. And then I'm going to end the video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do the edit on it so I can... Um, or actually, I think I'm just going to end it right here because now my phone is flashing at me like it's about to end the video for me already. So, um, yeah, this is what I have for this part of the video. Um, uh, like I said, I still have a shitload more, um, and I'll probably do the video, um, of my boyfriend, um, for the posters in the next video. Um, but I'll see you again soon, guys.